Welcome back, everybody. This is Mog once more here on Mog's Cast, playing some more Skyrim for you guys today. This is going to be episode two of our YOLO series, You Only Live Once. We're going to head to Falkreath today, since I haven't really spent much time here in my normal game, so we're going to go ahead and check it out. Um, you know, I, I mean, I've been here, obviously, but like, you know, whoa, sorry for the leg. I just don't come here that often. And since we're not going to be following any sort of main quest, or at least not yet, maybe we'll do guild stuff. Maybe I'll do some uh, some other things, but why am I moving forward? That wasn't going to hit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. But yep, we only live once. Sabertooth Cat is not the way I wanted to die. Let's uh let's actually get out a better weapon. And shield for that matter against these guys. I know it right now it's probably probably level to get there for us, but ah, uh, friggin' spider too. Alright, alright. No, let's uh let's see what we got. See if we can take him down. Oh my god. Nope. That's not gonna happen. I am not dying this early. Oh my god! Okay, okay, no, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it to Falkreath. We're gonna do this. Even if I have to run for my life, we're gonna do this. Screw you, friggin' things. Okay, we're gonna put some distance between us now. I'm not fighting a saber tooth cat right now. Or a saber cat. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're slowly starting to lose them. I think we'll be okay here. I'm gonna put away my weapon since I can, uh, you can run faster without it. Oh, God. Looks like somebody else is dealing with wood down there. Sorry, buddy. You're on your own. I'm not here for you. I'm here for me. Alright. So, heading to Falkreath. Sorry about that little, uh, little hiccup there. We're gonna have more of them, I'm sure. And I'm gonna try my best to stay alive instead of, uh, instead of jumping in and, uh, realizing, you know, that if I die, this character is done for. We're not playing, we're not playing, uh, we're not playing easy mode here. We're doing hardcore. Oh, man. That's Skyrim for you, though. There is some shit that'll mess you up. What's up, dear? We're not gonna catch this thing on foot. That's fine. They can make a run for it. Unless we get lucky. Ah! Oh my god, why is it lagging so much? Sorry about this. Hey, we gotta level up. Probably got some skill points there from actually attacking one-handed. We'll take care of that once we get to a safe point in town. Not save point, but a safe point. Because uh, we're not taking chances, guys. What is this? Oh, I think I know what this is. I think this is one of the... Uh, what am I doing? Not a, I want this. One of the bandit outpost things. So we're gonna take this easy here. A little above. Hey, you like that shot, buddy? Oh god. Let's see if we can get up through the trees. Oh god. Oh, I'm still sneaking. That's why I can't move very fast. Right, looks like we got two of them on us. That's fine. We can get these guys. Where are they? There he is. Right there, yep. Got him. Now where's the other one? That's the question here. Okay, he's, he sees us from somewhere. Gotta be over here somewhere, somewhere close. If I can spot a zero, I can get an idea of where he's at. Is he from above us? A little bit? Okay, let's put that arrow away for a moment. Oh. Tell you what, ah, there he is. Running so I can stab you in the back. <gasps> That's okay, we got him. We got him right back. And he fell off. We're a little short on arrows at the moment. Maybe I can loot one of these guys and get some more. Let's 
see. There's the other one, the first one we killed. Let's try to get our arrow back and see if he's got any extras for us. Take his gold, we'll take that. Hunting bow. Damage, 8. Can I see... I can see. I can switch over this way. What do I have? Damage, 6, with a long bow. We're going to take that hunting bow. Seems like a little bit of an upgrade. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trigger this trap before it gets set off by me being down there. Can I? Oh, there's some more arrows there. We'll take those, too. Okay, how do we set it off? Do they have a switch? They don't have a switch, so okay, we're just... Whoa! What in the world was that? Sounded like magic hitting around us. Oh, right there, okay. It's a scamp. I forgot I had a monster mod installed. Crap! Oh, God. Okay, that's one. And the second trap. Let's see if we can get this guy. Okay, nope. We need... Oh, God. We need a shield. So let's grab out. How's our war ass compared to sword? A little bit higher damage. We'll take that. We'll take the iron shield. It's on there. Ugh. Screw you, buddy. Holy crap. My health is low. I should recover. You know what? I should do that with a level up, though. That's what I should do. Here, when you're when you level up, you must choose to increase health, magicka, or stamina. You can also select a new perk at this time, or save it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go health. Now let's go ahead and take a peek here. What do we want to specialize in? I think we leveled up in sneak. We've leveled up in archery. We've leveled up in one-handed most. Uh, or maybe that's just one. Maybe I started with 20. Heavy armor is probably going to be the way we go, but that's okay. I don't really need it just yet. Um, Two-handed weapon. That's two-handed. I want one-handed. One-handed weapons do 20% more damage. How about archery? Archery is fun, but it's kind of situational. I'm going to take armsman and get that to, to one. Okay, buddy. Screw you, my friend. You're gonna die, buddy. One way or another, you are a dead one. Oh, thank God. Goodbye, scamp. You are a pain in the ass. But we survived the encounter. Why don't we take a uh, potion of healing real quick? Yeah, we'll do that. Take that scamp skin, see if we can sell it. Hey, there's a pot down here. How do I grab things again? Okay, it's just hold down E. That's all it is. And where is that other guy we knocked off here? He fell down about mid-bridge. There he is, right there. I'm just blind. I'm gonna take his... his stuff here. Uh, and his woodcutter's axe. Nice. I'm gonna switch up, take off our other cloak, because I'm not a fro... I'm not a, uh, uh... friggin... friggin, uh... storm cloak, or whatever these ones are called. Oh no, these are storm cloaks. I'm not a rebel. Let's drop these. Let's drop that. Actually, that's just a flat crimson. That's okay. Stormcloak, get rid of those. Are they worth something? They're not worth too much. Rough Spun Tunic, we're getting rid of that. Imperial Light Helmet, value 35. Probably not worth a whole heck of a lot. Value 5 on the sh or 25 on the shields. Okay. Fur Gauntlets aren't worth much. None of the first stuff is worth much at all. Crimson Cloak, I'm going to take gray. I'm down with the gray cloak. With the gray cloaks. Okay, Falkreath's uh, marker is on our, our HUD now. We can actually see it. So it must be getting somewhat close. Hey, what's up, the man? The Empire is in shambles. The worship of Talos. Friggin' Talos, man. Causing such an uproar. Nah, I'm just kidding. I've always dug Talos. The Man King. So we're just traveling. Travel travels. Looks like there might be a Druid uh, ring up there somewhere. I'm not too worried about it just yet. Nothing on the road as far as we can see. We seem to be doing okay. And it looks like it's Falkreath down here. Are we taking the upper path? There's Falkreath, guys. Let's find a way down, a safe way down. And some ruins. We might actually go check those out soon. Here's some wolves. I do have a ton of mods installed. A ton of mods. At least, I mean, not a whole heck of a lot. Probably close to maybe 50 total. I mean, that's a lot for some folks, but not for others. I mean, I've seen folks talking about, like, hundreds plus. 
So, I mean, I'm probably pretty mid-range when it comes to him. Okay. Here we go. This is the main entrance. And we're not doing half bad. Sorry about the clipping of the cloak. It is a mod. But I think the cloaks add so much, like, atmosphere and just, no just nice. Like they just look good. I think. We can make some coin with that woodcutter's axe if we need to. I can I can chop some, some lumber for a bit. But uh, I think for the moment, we're going to be working for uh, doing any quests we can find here in Falkreath, trying to earn some money. But let's find a shop and what get rid of some of the work? goods that we have. Nothing, guard. Don't worry about it. We're going to check out the blacksmith. You might notice some of these signs light up and are a little more uh, noticeable. That's also a mod. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to... Didn't want to lockpick you. I'm, not, I'm trying to play this nice. I'm not going to be trying to cheat Steel's anything. Good, but I mean, loyalty might steal, better. but yeah. I'm loyal to Looking to protect yeah, yourself yeah, yeah. or deal some damage. Trying to sell some stuff, my friend. Trying to sell some stuff. Bear pelt. We can sell that for a bit. How much money you got? He's got over a thousand. We can definitely sell a bit. Hunting bow. We're gonna keep. We can sell off these extra blades and axe. I'm gonna sell the that guy. I'm gonna sell the long bow. I'm gonna keep the uh, battle axe. I kind of dig the battle axe, and we'll see if I end up using it much. Okay, we're good there. Wait, what else? Oh, that's a woodcutter's axe. Okay. Anything else? We got some random stuff, just locks picks. Okay, what? Oh, well, actually, the uh, finest weapons and armor. What do you got? What can I buy off you? Anything good? We can buy some more arrows. Load up on arrows a bit. We can actually get some improved arrows too, but they're kind of expensive. I've only got 200 gold, 207 to be exact. You know what I am gonna do? Mm, you, eh, I could buy a steel axe, a steel war axe, the one-hander. If I do that, I kind of want to get a better shield, too. Does he, have, he has steel armor. Oh, it's so expensive, though. Steel helmet. Steel Nordic gauntlets. We could do that. We could get ourselves some decent uh, some decent uh, gauntlets there. What have you got in here? Charcoal fletchings for building arrows. I have a mod that you can make arrows and shit, too. And some steel leather whatnots. Okay, cool. Whatever, man. See me at my Only Actually, a hearty sword. I was Den Gear's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an oath? No. It was because he was a good man and a true friend. A true Lord like places good, good loyalty people. and honor above all else. As they should, Lord. That's some good stuff, my friend. I was then. Why would oh, I do? Sorry, not this. A true Lord places no, loyalty no, no. and honor above all else. That's great, man. Only inside the, the gates. Seems quiet. Much of Falkrith hold is wilderness, and there's plenty of trouble to be had. Hmm. Good All skills right, every Take something. care, my friend. Remember that. Let's see if we can find another shop. See if anybody's offering some quests. We could do some quests here at the tavern. I kind of want to go talk to the uh, to the dude, Mister uh, Mister Falkreath. You know what I'm talking about, the Jarl. Ah, uh, looks like this is his hall here. I'm just gonna grab a few of these harvestables. You never know. You just never know when they'll come in handy. And there's lots of fun things I can do with them too with mods. Especially the uh some of the more devious plants. So yeah, once again, sorry, we're gonna be sitting through loading times. But hopefully they won't be too bad. I do have this installed on my SSD, so uh they'll probably not be terrible. Yeah. Bolin speaks Still much Skyrim, about the though. war and the storm cloaks, but he knows who provides. You're the Jarl. I'm work. looking for work. I demand tribute before you can be considered for any real tasks. How about tribute, drink? Huh? None of that local piss. Real Blackbriar mead, fresh from Riften. Oh, you're gonna send me across the map? Well, you I guess better. we'll take up the I take up the quest for now. Waste my time. Oh, you shut your mouth, Jarl. How did you become Jarl while so young? My uncle Dengir was Jarl until a short time ago. His old age and failing health caught up with him, and he stepped down. He now serves us honorably as Thane, and to the great benefit of the Hold, I now serve as Jarl. I don't like how you're, uh, you're talking, my friend. Did your inexperience make your job difficult? difficult? I'm a Jarl. I eat the most succulent meat, drink the finest ale, and hunt with the best hounds in the Hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, my very capable steward sees to the needs of the small folk and ensures that my hold runs smoothly. B 
Being a Yarl could hardly be simpler. You should try it sometime. I really should. I'd like to sit in your chair, my friend. Hey, do I seriously have Blackbriar meat already? Now that's what I like to see. Oh, sickness! Someone who gets things done. Here, a little something for you. Nice. I'll take those healing potions. You've Starting proven reliable. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Good. Let's see what I can do. Execute every last bandit. Spare no. Spare no what? Spare no what, my friend? All right. Out we go. Looks like we've got ourselves a quest to kill some bandits. Hopefully we can handle it at this state in the game. I'd prefer to go make some gold. We might actually just go exploring a little bit. Uh, okay, so there's where we need to go. Oh, no, that's my custom destination. Place marker. Can I get rid of the marker? I just want to get rid of it. How do I seriously not... How do I just get rid of it? No, we don't want to fast travel. Okay, how far is this place for the quest? It's not marked. Um, let's take a peek at our map, because then I think we can go to the journal. Yeah. Miscellaneous. Kill the leader of Embershard. How do I... Okay, I can mark that. Reflect on cold weather survival. Look to the stars between 7 p.m. or 7 a.m. Or enable Frostfall via mod config. That's one of the other ones. It must be a mod. Hmm. What time is it? It's getting there. A few more hours in game, and I'll try to do that. Look up to the stars and see if we can figure out what the heck they're talking about. Maybe it's a config in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe it's a config in here that I need to do. True Nords, DRT. What is DRT? I do not remember this. Let's put on our Berserker Rage. Might as well, right? I don't want these. I want my weapons. Let's keep our weapons equipped. We'll go War Axe and the Shield still for now. And I kind of wish I knew which way to go. I guess I did mark it on the map now, didn't I? Way over there, that's Ember Shard Mine. Over near Riverwood, close to Helgen. Okay, so that must be the one right outside of town. That shouldn't be too tough. I kind of want to look around and see what we can find in the nearby area, see if there's any small things we can loot, and, uh, you know, just get some coin that way. What is it or? Looks like there's a cave out this way on our, on our map, so we're going to go check this out, I think. Give it a shot, see what happens. There's also a fast travel mod I've got installed, so I can actually pay this guy to bring me around to the different towns. So it makes more sense instead of just fast traveling around on the map. I think it's it's a little bit more uh, realistic. You're actually paying something to do your fast travels for you, and it's a good way to get to places you haven't been yet, which is kind of nice. All right, where is this cave? Up here, ways. I should also apologize. I did mention in the last video that I was kind of curious what you guys would want as far as first and third person. Um, I have to admit this is being recorded before that has even gone up. So if you've made suggestions, keep making them. And I'm sure I'll see them soon enough. Okay, it looks like it's probably right up here somewhere. And I don't see any hostels yet, which should be good. Okay. Looks like there's a marker stone. Halder's, ca Halder's Cairn. Okay, don't see anything. Doesn't look like... It might be a tomb. I don't see any skeletons. Purple Mountain Flower, I'll take that. And the mushrooms. Alright, let's head on in. See what we can find. See if we can collect some gold, maybe some gear. If we get lucky, maybe there'll be some steel gear in there we can take. And or some other such things we can actually just take and sell. That'd be nice. And maybe take a uh, take a lift out closer to Riverwood. Alright guys, we're going to take this nice and easy. You only live once, my friends. Doesn't mean go headlong into craziness. 
just means pay attention. Ah, I think I remember this one. I think this has to do with Dawn Guard. I don't know how far I'm actually going to be able to get in here. We'll take a look around, see what we see. Do I have a torch? It'd be nice if I had a torch. But I don't. My wooden bowl and tankard don't need you. I don't see any hostiles. I think we're okay. There are definitely some corpses in here. We could probably grab a few things. But we're gonna collect some of the mushrooms. You'll see why soon enough. Gold, fur bracers, hide armor. It's actually worth a decent amount. We'll take that lockpick and our steel axe. There we go. We got an upgrade to our weaponry. We're gonna go ahead and equip that right off the bat so that we're ready for anything that might come and come at us. Agrius, we're going to take your gold, your fur armor too, and your steel mace. How are we looking on weight? I've got a bit more I can carry, so that's all right. Got some more mushrooms right there, different type. Sure looks like bleeding crown. Imp stools. Any other corpses in here that I'm aware of? I think there's one around the side here as well. There he is. Fur armor. Iron sword, I'll take that off you. Your gold and your lockpicks. So, oh, didn't mean to take that though. Skull has no, almost no value. Don't need it. It's not going to help us at all. Haldern's Crypt. Key to Haldern's Crypt. Let's read this journal first. Never thought I'd see the day we were run out of knife point. Uh, the knife point gang. At least the storm should cover our tracks. Vidgrod, Rain, and I took shelter in a cave for the night. Looks like there's an old ruin here. At least there are no Draugr around. Vidgrod and Rain both want to step up here for uh, want to set up here for a while and maybe do some raiding. They ought to know better. The road's de deserted, especially this time of year. Plenty of better places up north, but they they seem awfully insistent about staying here. Wouldn't even lend a hand when I went out to hunt tonight. Something's wrong. Rain hasn't said a word since she woke up this morning. Just keeps staring off into space. Vidgrod isn't much better. They sick? Not like any illness I've ever heard of. I just walk... I just walk out on them, but I can't seem to get up the nerve. I feel like something's holding me back. What is this place? We're not alone. I can hear him now. Someone. Speaking in my mind. Old. Powerful. Halder. That's the name. He wants something from us. Needs us to stray... to stay for the magic to work. I try to run. Can't. Just like them. Rain jumped first. Onto the carn. That's what Master wants. Blood. Sacrifice. Power to live again. His magic. I can feel it pulsing in my blood. He's draining us. We'll serve him soon. Our bodies, our souls, just like the others. They're waiting. It's my turn. I'm not taking that. This might be a switch. We might come back here sometime, but not today. And I can't see shit. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna mess with our settings, see if I can get this gamma up a little bit. Brightness is all the way up. And okay, fair enough. Maybe I won't. Um, 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 this is dark. How do I get out of here? Around this way, looks like there's a path. Yep, okay, we found the path. And the exit back out. I really need a torch sooner or later. We're gonna explore elsewhere. Go back to town. We did, we did get ourselves a new weapon, at the very least. That's something without pushing our luck too much. So hopefully, that'll serve us well. Anything else I can see on the, on the map here so far? There's a carn out this way, or at least a burial site of some sort. Let's go check that out. We'll head back to Falkreath and catch a catch a uh, one of the carts back in uh, River Riverhold or whatever the heck it's called, and go kill those those uh, bandits if we can for the Jarl here of Falkreath. I'm gonna find myself a cooking stove here soon enough. Oh hey, little tent. What do we see here? Burnt out fire. And a journal, Legend of Crately House. It gives me sneak ability, I'll take that. And you may have noticed that it didn't auto-open. That's a mod I've got also that doesn't auto-open skill books. So you can save them if you want. And there is reason to do so. Ha leveling becomes harder later on, and those are free points. So you can level up your stuff normally now, and then use the books later to actually read and learn. And improve your skills a bit more when it becomes hard. Not to say that I always take advantage of that. I read a lot of them as soon as I get them, but... It's nice to have that option. Nice to have it not forced on you. 
running through. We might see some Draugr here at this burial site. I guess we'll see. Right up here, looks like. Roadside ruins discovered. Let's take it nice and easy. Let's slip into first person. Spriggan. Oh, screw that. Screw fighting a Spriggan right now. I am not down for that. Those things are beasts. There's, I am not ready for that on a no death run. Sorry, Spriggan. Don't worry about me. I'm not here to attack you. I was, but I'm not going to chance it. Much too powerful for me right now. We're just going to head back in. We're going to sell some stuff, and uh, then we're going to take, uh, take our chances with the bandits. Just picked up some nightshade. I think we're back in Falkreath. It looks like the, uh, yep, the burial site. Shrine of Arcade, I'll take a blessing. Thanks, priest. Appreciates it. Just saw the shadow of a hawk. You know you can kill those hawks if you if you get them right. If you get them with an arrow, they'll they'll get killed. and You can take their their feathers. It's a pain in the ass to try and shoot them, but you, if you can bring them down, they're totally killable. It's night. I don't know how much uh, how much use we'll get out of uh, trying to talk to the blacks. Oh, we just caught him before we went Steel's inside. Steel's good. Man, can you uh mm. you want to talk to Blades, me? Blades, yeah. helmets, pretty much anything oh, to suit Let's your needs. Talk, man. Sell for sixteen. That's rough, but uh yeah, we'll take it. Not like I'm gonna be using it. Hunting bow is still something we're gonna hang on to. Sell that iron sword, sell that iron war axe, sell the steel mace. And we didn't pick up any other things we could sell. At least not yet. Lockpicks are good. We've got 316 gold. Me at my forge if you, need or armor. you got it, man. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go talk to the uh the cart man here Judge. and get a lift over to Riverwood. That's what it's called. Riverwood. By your armor, I'd say you're an Imperial Scout. You're so well met. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I don't side with the Imperials who's wearing their armor. I'd like to Where hire you your to carriage. Go? Uh, not this way, I guess. Let's do the small That's hole. fine. Where do you want to go? Oh, not the friggin' That's oh, fine. Geez. Where do you want to, to go? small town. Sit back for 50 and enjoy gold. the ride. Jeez, that's kind of steep. Should have read that a little more. But I didn't. That's what I get. Not reading things. My own damn fault. Ah, <sighs> What kind of characters did you guys play if you've played this game? Which I'm assuming a lot of you probably have. This game is so damn popular. I remember uh, Skyrim here is a enough. great, great game. And it's Come been out a while. I would assume you guys have played it. Oh, hey, that was Halder, or whatever his name is. Nope, sorry, bud, you're on your own. I got shit to do, my friend. Oh, hey. Some more mushrooms. I'll take them. wonder if we're going to encounter any wildlife out here. There are wolves. Man, maybe I should have uninstalled some of those monster mods. This is going to be really tough. That's fine. I mean, I'll try to handle it, but... I'm making no promises about how long characters are going to last. I'll do my best. Oh, it looks like we got something here. Probably wolves. Okay, that was a boar, and those things are pretty heavy. Yeah, come here, wolf. Let's fight, you and I. One wolf down. Before he floats away, though, let's grab his boat. Second wolf down. We might be able to take this boar. Whatever they're actually called. Whoa! Giant boar. Yeah, as you can see, my hits don't do much to him. They're a, they're beastly. Okay, boar. Come on, my friend. Let's play a game. We're gonna go berserk mode. Come here, little buddy. Ah! ah! I guess he wasn't too bad. Maybe I talked him up a little much. Still, berserk helps. But I can't use that that often. I think that's a once a day. Maybe I just blew it. Okay, let's put that axe away. 
Grab those yellow flowers. Oh no, no, that's just decoration. Mine should be right up here. Right through here, I think. Yeah, we'll take this path. Ember shard mine. Hey, what's up? You picked a bad ah. What were you saying, Bandit? What was that? I didn't quite hear you over the sound of your death. Let's take a shield. That's worth a lot. We'll take all that stuff. Ooh, is studded armor better than what I've got now? Let's take a look. Studded armor, 25 armor. Imperial armor, 25. Weight 6. Weight 6, worth 75. Yep, okay. You know what we're going to do, though? Switch it up so I'm not being, you know, typecast as a friggin' Imperial no more. I don't want that. Let's head on in. So, yeah. Have you guys played? I'm, I'm assuming you have. I'm kind of curious about what kind of classes, uh, race combos you might have played. And I'm going to take this torch. Let's equip this thing so you guys can actually get a decent look. I'll do my best. Ah, I can use that instead of a shield. In fact, I think I'm gonna in this place. For now, I can set people on fire with it too. But this might help with actually being able to see shit in this video. Because this is a dark game to begin with, with my brightness all the way up already. I'm a little scared to see what it's gonna look like after I record with Fraps and uh, get it encoded. I'm gonna have to pump up the brightness quite a bit. Oh, this place. This again? I told you. We have someone standing guard out there. Don't forget the rock. Do you? So, stop your worrying and get some rest. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna unequip this torch for the moment, and we're gonna put on our bow. Your shift is coming up, and I don't want you dozing off again like that. Oh, no, no! Damn it. That's fine. There's more. Okay, we're gonna try to get one of these guys. Oh, there goes my torch. Is he gonna come this way? Come this way, my friend. Or go through there, that's fine too. Good night. Oh no, what happened to your friend? I can't believe it. What's going on? You gonna check it out? Yeah, you probably should. Come here, my friend. Yeah. Enjoy that. Steel sword, we're gonna take that. Fur armor and the apple pie. I'm gonna grab my torch here in a minute. Get some light back up in here. We'll take the iron mace and the studded armor. That's worth a bit. And I'm gonna grab my torch while I'm here. Is he gonna re-equip it? I don't think it is. Okay. Sometimes the mod works great, sometimes it doesn't. It's supposed to re-equip and you pick it back up. That's fine. It is what it is. Nothing in the cooking pot. Can we cook over the fire at all? Nope, doesn't look like we can here. Grab that. Ooh, I'm iron. We can mine here. Can't we? I do need a pickaxe for this, and I have a pickaxe for this. Getting some iron ore. Whistle while you work. Sorry, I'm not so great at whistling. Okay, we mined up that node. I'm not going to push our luck too much here with with, uh, with that, though. We're just going to do our thing. Wait, wait. Where's my friggin'... Put away my torch again? Okay, how do I favorite things? It's F. Press a Q to bring up the favorites list. Okay, fine. I guess I'll start doing that. Let's, uh, let's favorite the hunting bow. And our... Axe and our shield. Iron shield, yep. Alright. That's looking pretty decent. Bust out that torch. We still got our war axe equipped, good. That doesn't look like it goes anywhere, but let's take a quick peek, see if there's anything to loot. We'll take that. We'll take that. And we'll take the tattered journal. I'm not gonna read it. Okay, let's head up this way. I think we can drop that bridge over here somewhere. Okay, let's take the Alto one. That was such a good f good thing, by the way. We didn't have to run to Rift and get that Blackbriar Mead. I'm so glad we already had that. 
and switch. Down it goes. Ha! Found you. Shit. Just a scratch. Not so Are you like that, my friend? Good night. Where's your buddy? There he is. Give up while you still can. Oh no. Prepare to die. Come here, my friend. Let's do this. Oh, you didn't get over close. See it, we're just gonna finish you off. There we go. Good night. Barbarian boots. We'll take them. I think it might have better armor than ours. In fact, yes, it does. I forgot about it. You can actually tell down here in the little in the little window. I totally spaced on that. Take that. We'll take the fur armor. We're not just going to take it all. How about you? We're ready to clear you up? Yes, we did. You were one of the others. You, on the other hand, have not been cleared. Take your cloak. Take your fur armor. Take your gold. Take your axe. We'll leave you with your bracers. This might not be so bad. Is there going to be anybody in here? Doesn't look like it, but... I'm going to take all that while I can. Okay. I just saw that iron vein there. It's fine. I know. Oh, oh god. god. Don't worry about it. It was nothing. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Burn, you freak. Enjoy my axe. Oh, I'm so glad we found this axe. It's nice. Amber Shard Mind Key. We'll take that and his gold necklace. His steel axe and his uh, hide armor. We're going to have a decent amount to sell. What's our encumbrance looking like? Oh, we've only got about 28 uh, more that we can use. Let's pop that open with the key. Might as well open the chest and see what we get in here. Oh, that's brutal. Nice. Carrying capacity increased by 30. Armor of 6. That's lower than uh, ours by 1 currently, but it boosts our encumbrance uh, uh, total we can get. Oh, Iron at Battle Axe of Chills. Uh, minor ring of, a ring of minor blocking staff. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. This is so brilliant. Okay. We're going to have to drop a few things, and that's perfectly fine. We'll just start dropping the things that aren't worth too much comparatively to its, uh, to its ability. Iron Battle Axe. Sorry, buddy. You're getting dropped. Maybe. Okay, hold on. Iron War Axes are going to be the first to go. It's only got about a three gold value to wait. Uh, so let's get rid of those. Let's get rid of the Iron Mace, too. That should clear up a decent amount of space. These have about a four to one ratio. These have about a five to one for the Steel Axe. I'm down with that. Give or take. That's just really rough calculations. Just on the fly. Uh, those are decent. These are 20 to 1. Anything with a 1 weight is really good efficiency for being able to carry it. So that's something you want to look for. This is this is worth 50 per 1. That's brilliant. Okay, fur armor. 6, yeah, okay, okay. Not half bad, not half bad. Um, We're going to go ahead and while we're in here, we're going to equip the barbarian boots. Iron helmet and studded armor. We're no longer wearing anything that's imperial, so we can just get rid of that stuff when we get to town. Cool. Uh, anything else? Oh, I didn't mean to upgrade, uh, open my console there. Uh, that's not great. Not great. That's some some. Uh, what am I trying to say? Some mushrooms and apples. I'll take all that. Since this stuff's pretty light. Oops. I think there's one more. Yep, right there. Grab all that stuff. No, I'm not the wire iron war pack. We've got the large sack we can take. And oops, nothing there either. Barrel, what do we got for you in here? Garlic, we'll take it. Okay, let's check this. I think it's just a yeah, it's just a, a cell. Okay. We're gonna keep moving, see if we can find that leader. Finish up our tasks for the Jarl. Ah, oh, I just boosted up to 60 FPS. This is smooth as silk now. Ah, nice, some gold. And looks like they're outhouse. What was that? Nothing, don't worry about it. There's nobody up here. Okay, let's uh let's do this. Unequip the torch. Select our hunting bow. Yeah, come on.
Come around the corner, my friend. Why you smear? You like that? End this little game. Yeah! Boom! Right in the neck. Take that. We'll take more, uh, another cloak since it's a pretty good ratio. Grab back our arrow. Iron shield. We'll take the steel mace. And I think we'll take... We'll take the armor. It's got a better ratio. Since I'm still a bit concerned about... About our carrying capacity. We're not gonna take... Oh, come on. Why... Oh, that's bums me out. I need some more... Oh, I guess we leveled up. Nice. You know what? I got full health. I'm not gonna use that yet. What I am gonna do... Is I need to get myself more torches so that I don't have to keep re-equipping them to my favorites. Hey, that's the guy. Right up there. You think we can get him with the bow? What do you think? We're gonna give it a shot. Alright, let's drop down into our stealth mode. And I can't see him right where he is now. I'm gonna wait for him to come back around, I think. He's moving back to the left. You can see it on my on my nav bar up there. Ah, is he way up there now? Can I get him? Ha! <laughs> Take that, you son of a bee. Another guy on the bridge here, though. Right there. You gonna keep moving? You gonna look around a little bit? Good night. Where is the other one? I don't see. There it is. I see movement. Too slow. What was that? Okay, we're gonna switch back over to our iron shield. Get in the light. Okay. Uh, get in the light. Sorry, work. Got a steel battle axe. I'll take it. Carrying too much to run, but I think we've got this place mostly cleared out. I'm gonna go loot that guy though, but since we can't run. Let's try to find a way to do that. Iron Battle Axe, bye. That frees up enough. And let's grab a torch out so I can see what I'm doing. This is so dark, and my apologies on that. I'm going to try to find a way to make that a little less dark. I think I may actually have a mod installed that makes it too dark. Maybe I'll end up taking that down because it's just... I really like it for uh, my personal games. It makes it really more immersive and forces me to use torches, but... In a recording sta uh, situation, this is really not so great. So I might actually remove that for the benefit of the channel and for the benefit of the videos. But yeah, I mean, I can actually see a little better here myself. I always do tend to be able to see a little better in my videos, but um, yeah, we'll need to we'll need to make, uh, make some concessions for that. I think. Oh, and I'm over capacity again. Let's check this chest real quick. We'll take the gold. We'll take the petty soul gems and the steel battle axe, and then we'll take a look at here what we can drop. I think we'll just be dropping out some of the lesser stuff. All steel there, want to keep that. Extra set of barbarian boots, we'll drop those in. Fur armor... I will go ahead and drop these in. I need to drop 13 more pounds. One iron shield will almost get us there. And we're going to drop another fur armor. Okay, that's fine. Since I still need to go find the, uh... The dude still. And by dude, of course, I mean the leader and loot him up. Charge Skeever. And seeing as how I did say I was going to be playing this like I like I, uh, like I I should be, I do need to eat and I do need to drink. That's the, uh, that's the, that's the thing. We'll drink some wine. We'll drink two wines. Oh, I forgot. I have a drunk mod installed too. So this is going to be a little, uh, a little difficult to see well, I'm trying to get everything squared away here while my dude is drunk. That's okay. We got his. Uh, we got his stuff. That's all I really wanted. Let's check. Ooh, was that an arrow that I fired? Nope. It just looks like it was a uh, yeah, a plant. That's what happens when you're drunk. Have trouble seeing stuff. Okay. Let's check up here. Trap. That looks like a noise trap. This one too. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head on back out, it looks like. So that went well. Better than I expected. We got some good loot and some good things that we can sell now. 
Uh, on top of that, we got a couple of armor upgrades, I think, right? We get our... We got our studded in there somewhere. That's okay. Okay, let's mark a waypoint on our map. Let's head back to Riverwood. Let's get back out to the main path if we can find it. I think it's right down this way. This is difficult when you're drunk. That's what I get for drinking two wines. Whoa. Oh, this is the path. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're fine. I just hope I don't encounter any wildlife out here. That can be tricky. So, uh, this being an orc, and since it's now revealed that I'm using a drunk mod, it should also be uh, mentioned that I'm using a drug mod. There are drugs in this game, as you may have noticed from the cannabis options little thing that I had in my, uh, in my, work, or my uh, inventory. We're going to be trying out some things. Since this is my orc, I like to play him kind of tribal. He's going to be a... Uh, he'll partake, Finger, I'll say. He'll, he'll partake. Away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling What's up, Sven? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna rest at the end here for the night, I think. And we're gonna get started again in the daytime. So in the meantime, let's head on in. We'll be heading back to Falkreath after this. To turn in and talk to the Jarl. Hopefully we'll sleep off this, this drunk state. Orgnar. I guess we can put away our torch. Orgnar, are you listening? Hard what? not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. I can't even see you guys. Did you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I need a room? Talk to Delphine. Can I use the alchemy Long lab? as you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. I didn't. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Thanks, Orgnar. Until next time. Where's the alchemy bench? Right there. Let's take a quick peek at this. Probably the best idea to do this while we're drunk. What can I do? Do I have wheat? I don't have any wheat. I don't know what any of these do either currently. It's fine. That's fine. We're not gonna do much, I don't think. We'll quit alchemy. What I do want to do is find a, a spot I can cook. Don't want to steal anything, though. You got a cook station somewhere, I'm my friend? I'm just a cook, lad. Well, if you're the cook, where's your little, uh, where's your cook station, my friend? I ain't looking to make friends. Alright, fine. I won't call you friend, then. Or you like skeever liver? No? Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Let's. Amphetamines? What? Okay. What else you got in here, my friend? Prepared imp stool? That's a drug. Psychosilbin? Or psilocybin. That's what, I'm, that's what I try to say. Psilocybin. So there's lots of, of fun things we can find in here. Uh, and make, for that, for that matter. Uh... Where can I get a All bed? Right, oh, right. I think I have to talk to her. Hey, what's up, lady? Your Delphine. that visitor been poking around. I just got here. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll find my own way. Thanks. Pretty sure it's this one. Nope. This one? Yeah, this one. Alright, let's close the door. Guys, with that, I think we're going to call it, seeing as how it's over the 50-minute mark already on this one. In the morning, and in the next episode, we will be going back to Falkreath and uh, making use of what we just did for the Jarl. Taking our, uh, taking our first steps toward becoming a Thane of Falkreath, I think. So wish us luck. Thank you so much for your support so far. I do appreciate any likes and or comments you want to drop below. It really helps me know that people are enjoying the series. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Cheers!